Welcome. Today we are going to do one of my favorite sets and one of many of my students' favorite sets. I have people that have done this for years on end, months on end, weeks on end as their practice. And so this is called the Opportunity Green Energy Set. So let's go ahead and just get started with it. We will do some warm ups before we go into this wonderful Kundalini Yoga set. What this set does is it opens up the energy from the lower chakras. The Kundalini energy is at the base of the spine and it brings it up to the heart and even higher. So really we're connecting with everything in this set through our heart ultimately. So let's go ahead and get started. Bring your palms together, bring your thumbs to the center of your chest and close your eyes down. We're going to tune in with Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. So let your closed eyes float up and focus right between your eyebrows to your third eye point, that point of inner sight and inner knowing and intuition. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo, either on one breath or breaking up the breath where you inhale through the nose, chant Ong Namo, and then sip in through the mouth and chant Guru Dev Namo. Either one will do, and then we'll go. Inhale. Exhale, release your hands down and rest your wrists on your knees for a moment with your palms up and your index fingers meeting your thumbs. So a lot of these Kundalini practices that I've been doing these last few weeks are from my Tuesday night 7 p.m. class. And for some reason, my dog, who's not a huge barker, likes to bark now. So if you're hearing him, I apologize for that. And if you don't hear him, that's great. One thing we can do with distractions when they come up is we can either bring them into our meditation or we can do what's called pratyahara, withdraw our senses and not bring it in. And I definitely have seen lots of students do that. Sometimes I'll be up at school house doing something like a nature and say, did you hear that lawnmower or that machine? And they'll say, what machine? So just see what your mind does with any external distractions, because sometimes they are beyond our control. Okay, so we're gonna start out with a few warm ups. So holding on to your knees, go ahead and start to draw a circle around from your waist, loosening your spine. And remembering that in Kundalini Yoga, we focus with our eyes closed to the third eye on the breath. And as we inhale, we think the sound sat, S-A-T. And as we exhale, we think the sound nam, N-A-M which means truth is my identity. I am the embodiment of my own inner truth. So as we go through these movements, inhale, think sa, exhale, think nam, and let your mind focus on that. That might help you get away from some of the busy thoughts that we all have. And now go the other way, breathing through your nose, inhaling sa, Exhaling now. God, just find that calm, strong place inside you. And then bring it back to center with an inhale. And then go ahead and gently drop your chin to your collarbone. 
And then you're gonna feel the weight of your head stretching the back of your neck as you just drop the head down for a moment. Stay there for a moment. And just feel that, keep your spine lifted, keep your shoulders relaxed. And now gently start to roll your head, stretching your neck and throat. Inhale, think soft. Exhale, numb. And go the other way. Feel your breath. Let your breath be your guide. And bring your head back on top of your spine with an inhale and exhale. Bring your fingertips up onto your shoulders, thumbs and back. We're just going to do one more Kundalini warm up and then we'll do a few sun salutes and then we'll go into our set. So begin to inhale, twist to the left, exhale, twist to the right. Let your head move with your body. Inhaling, sat, exhaling, na. And now inhale, come back to center, eyes closed, focus third eye. Press your shoulders and elbows back for a moment, opening up that heart chakra. We're gonna be working on the heart tonight or today or whatever time you're doing it. We're doing it 7 p.m. right now. And then exhale, release your arms down and just rest your wrists on your knees for a moment. I will be changing the camera ang angle so that you can see my body better when we get into it. But for now, when we're going into the sun salutes, I'm gonna kind of not see my whole body as has been happening the last few weeks when we do this, but let's come standing. And if you're on a mat, come to the front of your mat. If you're not on a mat, just be somewhere where you can step your foot back because that's what we're going to do. So you're gonna to come to the front of your mat and you're going to stand with your hands in the prayer gesture for a moment. I think that setting an intention is a really powerful way to start the practice. So take a moment to set an intention, perhaps something personal that's going on for you or professional or something for someone in your life or for your country or for the planet or for the animals or whatever it is. Good. And now we're going to do a few sun salutes. If you have a different way to do it and you want to modify it any way you like, that's all right. We're going to inhale, reach our arms up. We're going to exhale, fold over. You can bend your knees and make this a rag doll, or if you feel like you're already stretched out enough from your regular yoga practice that you have or just the kind of body you have, then you can straighten your legs more, but don't straighten the legs the first time just because you feel like that's a thing to do. I see a lot of people doing that when really it's just nice to warm up first. No rush, you're gonna stretch plenty, right? Okay, so now bend your knees and inhale, step the right foot back. So as we step the right foot back, the right knee can be up or down. Your head is slightly lifted. Your fingers are spread wide and your eyes are focused to that third eye. You can close those eyes if you want or have them open for sun salutes. And then inhale, bring your left foot back and your body is straight and strong in a plank position. Exhale, drop your knees to the floor. 
bring your tailbone back, bow into child's pose, bow into child's pose. Stay here for a breath or two. And then we're gonna bring it forward. So you can take nose, chin, chest, belly, hips, or you can do a modified push-up. or if you've got a full chaturanga, you could do that. Here we go, we're gonna end up on our belly. I'm inhaling forward, exhaling, lowering my hips, and I'm gonna choose the cobra. So sphinx, your elbows are on the floor. Cobra, the elbows are off the floor, shoulders down, hips staying grounded to the earth. Up dog, your legs are very straight and firm and the hips are off the floor. All good choices. Curling your toes, inhale, come up to downward facing dog. If you had to lower your chest down first, that's fine. Find your way up to equal weight on your hands and feet. Letting your head relax. For most of us, that means the head lines up with our arms. If you're more flexible, your head might come closer to the floor that's coming from your shoulders, not from dropping your head off the spine. Okay, let's take the right foot forward into our lunge. So inhale, step, walk, or assist your right foot forward into the lunge. Back knee on or off the floor. Shoulders towards your waist. Let's already think about our heart chakra a little bit. The upper spine is your heart chakra. So we want to make that straight and strong right now. And then inhale, take your left foot to meet your right. Exhale, fold over. Legs can be straighter, bent, maybe straighten them a little more this time. And then inhale, come up. And exhale, take a prayer to your heart. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and come seated. And we are going to start the opportunity green energy set. So doing a few sun salutes every day is really good. It, it just works everything in a really holistic way. We are going to move away from that now, though, so that we can do this full set because we're going to get a lot of good physical stuff from our Kundalini practice today. So if you are comfortable sitting on your heels, we're going to be doing a spine flex sitting on our heels, which we call rock pose in Kundalini. If that is not comfortable for you, do not do it. Sit cross-legged or sit in a chair, whatever works for you. So the spine flex, classic kundalini move. You're going to inhale, flex forward. Exhale, flex back. I'll turn sideways too so you can see this. Now in this particular set, when you inhale and flex forward, you want to focus at the very bottom of your spine, the first chakra. When you exhale and push your spine back and the belly pushes back and contracts, that's where you want to focus is at your belly. So it's inhale forward, exhale back, eyes are closed. Inhale, sat, exhale, nam, move at your own pace. Some people have more mobility in their spines than others. Just move your spine forward and back where it will go for you. So inhale forward, exhale back. The other thing to notice is that your shoulders move opposite of your spine. So inhale, thinking sat, focusing to the base of the spine. Exhale, thinking nam, focusing to your belly, your third chakra. Keep moving. If you are sitting on your heels, what this does is it helps to integrate the energies of the second and third chakra, the hips and belly, and it is good for the digestion. Now, inhale, come back to center. Hold your breath in for a few moments and squeeze the rectum, sex organ, and navel muscles, your lower internal muscles, which you call root lock or mula bandha. It's a classic yoga bandha or squeeze, and then, or lock, energy lock, and then exhale through the nose. Hold the breath out, keep your spine lifted, shoulders relaxed, chin parallel to the floor. Hold that breath out, squeeze rectum, sex organ, navel again. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Hold the breath in. 
collect, uh, squeeze, sorry, the rectum, sex organ, and navel. And exhale through the nose. Hold that breath out. Apply the root lock. Squeeze rectum, sex organ, and navel. Good. Now we inhale. And we exhale. Just sit for a very brief moment with your eyes closed, keeping your spine lifted, sensing your breath moving in and out through your nostrils or breathing only through the nostrils unless for some reason your nostrils are blocked. Inhaling sucked, exhaling nam and letting your eyes float up to that space between your eyebrows. Powerful meditation place, the third eye, the ajna center. This next thing we're gonna do is gonna shake up the spine a little bit. It's going to shake up the first chakra a little bit, the base of the spine. It's also said to be very good for the heart. And this is called body drops. So you're gonna very gently come out of whatever seated position you're in, unless you're already seated with your legs out in front of you, because we're gonna sit with our legs out in front of us. And for body drops, what you're going to do is have your fingers spread wide and or some people prefer fists for their wrists. And you're gonna have a 90 degree angle with your wrist, what direction you decide to put your hands. I like to put mine forward. And you're gonna lift your belly, uh, your buttocks up on the inhale and down on the exhale. And if you can, you're gonna lift your feet up too. I'll demo that. So it's, right? So inhale, set, exhale, now. Here we go. Eyes are closed. Now, inhale, and then exhale, just lean back on your hands for a moment. And again, take a rest, just right here, take a rest. Now, one of the reasons we keep our eyes closed in Kundalini Yoga is to contain our energy. A lot of energy goes in and out of us every day by breathing, by sweating, by other ways. When you keep your eyes closed, it helps contain the energy. So just sense your energy. Perhaps you feel a little warmth. Perhaps you feel a little tingling or anything else that is part of your energy. Kundalini yoga is sometimes called the most, most accelerated form of yoga. And that's not to make it better or worse. It's just that we move the energy around sometimes rather quickly. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come into crow squat. So you're going to come into a little squatting position. Now, some people... I've got this meditation cushion here and I'll just show for the purposes of people whose heels might be up. If your heels are up and you have something to put your heels on, you can do that. Or maybe you can balance with your heels up, right? And you could roll up a towel or a blanket. If you have one handy or some, use some pillows, but maybe your heels can come down. And then we're gonna clasp our fingers with our index fingers pointing forward, which we call the Jupiter finger in Kundalini Yoga, which means expansion. And we're working on prosperity in the heart here. So let's think expansively. Bring your arms straight out in front of you. Do whatever you can to make this work for you. Close your eyes, focus right between your eyebrows and now begin our rapid, rhythmic, equal inhale, exhale, sniffing breath through the nose and if you feel like you're hyperventilating or you don't have it yet the rhythm doesn't feel right stick out your tongue and also breathe rapidly and rhythmically through your mouth okay breath of fire
Inhale deeply. Now hold the breath in and project the energy from your hips, which are your seat of creativity, out through your heart, out into the world with courage. And then exhale, come sitting down. And we're gonna go right into the next one. We use that energy that we've opened in the hips and opened a little bit more here. You might hold on to the back of your knees if your hips are quite tight. You might hold on to the outer edge of your foot. In this Kundalini, we hold on to the big toe. So if you can hold on to the big toe, do that. Just do what you can here. We call this Kundalini Lotus, like the lotus flower opening up. And so you're going to do this with your eyes closed if you're balanced, eyes open with one pointed focus if you need that for the balance. And then once again, we're gonna do breath of fire. So try to keep your spine straight, your shoulders down, and your legs can be bent or straight so that you can be sitting on those sit bones and balancing. Breath of fire, go ahead and find that balance, find that stability. Now inhale deeply, good, hold the breath, imagine energy along your spine, and then exhale, just gently let your feet come down, great, and we're going to go right into the next one. Now this one, if you were comfortable sitting on your heels in the spine flex, then you'll be able to sit on your left heel. If you were not comfortable there, then I recommend bringing your left leg out in front and your right foot inside the left leg. We're only gonna do one side. So you're either going to sit on your left heel or bring that left leg out in front. If you're comfortable sitting on your left heel, see if you can get the right foot comfortably on top of the left thigh. You may have to put your knee on something because it might be up in the air, or maybe you can balance with it that way. If you've got the hip open enough, you can rest the foot, the knee on the floor. Okay, so just do what you can and then cup your hands, doesn't matter which is on top of what, and bring your hands right where the heel of the foot is here, if you've got it here, between your hip bones really. And then we're going to close our eyes. This is called Triya Kriya. And we're going to make a vibration together. And this is a vibration for the heart chakra, O-N-G. S-O-H-U-N-G, Ong Sohong. So vibration is good for a lot of things, but rather than explaining it, let's just do it. Ong Sohong, one per breath. Here we go. Inhale. Ong. So. sitting cross-legged. If you are comfortable sitting cross-legged, sit cross-legged and just rest your wrists on your knees for a moment. Let your index fingers meet your thumbs and just take a moment 
to sense yourself before we move on. We're definitely not done with the set, but just take a moment. This is a nice thing in Kundalini Yoga, unless otherwise specified, you can take these moments in between each exercise. And oftentimes it's a good thing to do just to sense your energy, to sense yourself. So we're going to continue with some more Breath of Fire. And this is a really good one for opening up the energy of the heart. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our arms straight out to the side. Great, with your palms facing up and your arm, your eyes are closed, your arms are straight out to the side, palms up, straight elbows if you can. Focus up to the third eye. Now, before we begin our Breath of Fire, a little bit of visualization here. Visualize an arc line of energy going from your right palm, which is the male side, the sun side that projects out into the world, over to your left palm, which is the moon side, the feminine side, which absorbs, right? So visualize that energy, that arc line of energy over you from palm to palm, right to left, and begin the breath of fire. Keep thinking, satnam, 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 satnam. Inhale deeply. Good, everybody. Just clasp your fingers behind your head immediately and feel how that continues to open up the heart chakra, which is your chest and upper back area. Feel how this stretches your lungs, creates more space for your heart. And what we're going to do now is we're going to inhale up here and then we're going to exhale and bow forward. We're going to inhale, think sat, and you're going to exhale, nam. So when you come up, you feel that opening of the chest, filling of the lungs, you exhale, contract it forward, you bow as you come forward, which is a gesture of devotion, which is an aspect of the heart chakra. Inhale, sat, exhale, na. And now let's inhale, come up, hold the breath a moment and press your hands into your skull and your skull into your hands and pull the elbows back. And that will help you feel more open there. And then if you have more space before you let the breath out, inhale a little more if you can. And feel so full of that life-giving prana that comes in on the breath. Good. And now exhale, bring your arms right out in front of you, palms down, straight arms, just like we had them out to the side, but they're out to the front now. You're going to do this. You're going to inhale, bring your right arm and hand up just ever so slightly so that that right hand comes to about the level of the third eye, let's say about 30 degrees up, not way up in the air. Inhale up just a little bit. Exhale, the left comes up. So it's inhale right up, Exhale, left up, 
nice straight spine, keep the spine straight, keep the chin parallel to the floor, keep the focus at the third eye. The pace of how fast you move your arms is entirely up to you. You can go slow, you can go medium, you can go fast. If you go fast, it becomes a breath of fire. So just go at your own pace. Keep thinking of opening the energy from your heart, through your arms to your hands. It's all part of your heart center. Your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your fingers are all part of the heart chakra. Now inhale, good, hold the breath, straight arms, straight fingers, straight spine, be straight, be straight, be straight, think straight, speak, speak straight, be straight. And as you exhale, release the arms down. Rest your wrists on your knees, let your palms face up, let your index fingers meet your thumbs, sense what you feel. You might feel some energy in your hands because we've been really opening the energy of the heart. It might be a little tingling. I'm feeling that. That doesn't mean you're feeling that, but it always is pretty amazing to get in touch with your self as an energy being because all live things are energy beings. Hmm. Okay. And so now we're going into the grand finale of this set, and it is called Cosmic Connection. So instead of focusing to the third eye, where we focus a great majority of the time in Kundalini Yoga, you're going to be focusing to your crown chakra, Shahashara, the thousand petaled lotus. So your eyes are closed, but to the best of your ability, you feel like you're looking out the top of your head. And then you're going to bring your arms up in the air, you're going to clasp your fingers together. You're going to bend your elbows and then your hands will be over your head, not resting on your head. They're not resting on your head. So go ahead and bring those arms up in the air and clasp your fingers, bend your elbows, look up, look up, look up, keep your spine lifted, keep your heart open. We've done all that work to open up our chest and upper back and breath of fire. Don't let your shoulders be tight here. It'll definitely help you keep up if you keep the shoulders relaxed. Now inhale, keep those hands up there and bring your fingertips, the, I'm sorry, the index finger fingertips up in the air. Not all your fingertips, just your index fingers. And it's not the fingertips, it's the entire finger. I jumped ahead to the third one. So stay with the second one where the Jupiter fingers up and then go to long, deep breath. So it's that index finger, the same one that we had facing forward when we were in our crow squat, right? And then long, deep breath. Inhale, sat. Exhale, nam. Focusing out the top of your head. Bringing that energy up, up, up. So this is the opportunity. Green energy set. Green is the color of the heart chakra. 
Thus the green energy set. Opportunity, because we are now at this very moment connecting ourselves as finite beings out to the cosmos, which is the infinite. Everything is out there, everything is possible there. It's a great mystery that brings us all these wonderful miracles in our life every day. Now, if your arms start to feel tired, see if you can stay up here a little bit longer. If you have to take a break, you can. Sometimes it's good to go beyond the physical because you have all these amazing things that can happen when we go beyond that. And so here's the last one. Now it's the fingertips. Bring all of your fingertips together like a little teepee. I'm gonna just show it down a little bit so you can see, but not bring my hands down. So fingertips together like a teepee in the same place, Law, uh, breath of fire, back to breath of fire. Now inhale deeply. As you exhale, bring your hands down, but don't bring them all the way down. Bring your elbows into the waist just very gently. They're not touching the waist. Have your fingers spread wide. Your hands are right by your shoulders. And being here, you can feel how this is opening up the chest on a physiological level, slight external rotation of your shoulders, right? And so this is that final phase of feeling our heart open in the set. However, we're going to tune into our navel. The navel supports the heart. The navel is our power center. This is the center of what you call the Hutta or the Chi. And we're going to actually chant Hutta. We're going to chant Hari, 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 Har. So we get in touch with this area. And when we chant the Hari, let the tip of the tongue touch the roof of the mouth on the Hari, Hari, Hari. So even though it's H-A-R-I, it sounds like H-U-D-I, okay? Because that has a physiological impact on the brain. So we're going to do huddy, 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 har. Feel that sound very strongly from your navel, your belly. And we'll do one per breath a few times. Here we go. Inhale. Huddy, 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 har. Hari, 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 Har. Hari, 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 One more. Hari, Hari. Hari, ah. Inhale deeply. Let your index fingers meet your thumbs. Maintain your internal focus. We're going to meditate for a few minutes before you lay down. So as you exhale, just let your wrist rest on your knees, palms up, and meditate on these words. Imagine yourself 
in a shower, positive energy coming to you. Love each breath. And love all things known. And all things unknown. Know that you are loved, that you deserve love, and that opportunities can come to you in ways that you've never previously imagined. As you live your life from a heart center plane of attraction, which is what this set does for you, a very powerful thing to live from your heart it takes courage and energy exchange giving and receiving from a place of love and now you can come laying on your back and take rest Just laying on your back, taking rest. Just letting the work that you did work for you. This is such a beautiful, powerful set. And the nice thing about this set is that you can go through these exercises and do them for a lesser time and really get through this set in a minimum of about 20 minutes. And then if you do it for the maximum time, which is no more than three minutes for these each exercise. You can get through this set in about an hour. So it's a really, really good set. And as I said in the beginning when I was introducing it, over the years, many of my students have used this as their sadhana, as their spiritual practice. And they have done it for 40 days, which is what you do to really change a habit or to reinforce something. And then in Kundalini Yoga, we offer, then you take it for 90 days or take it even further to 120 days. And then as I mentioned in the beginning, I had one student that did it for a year and I think she ended up doing it for a total of three years. So you choose these sets and this is such a good one because how can we not be benefited by opening up the energy from our lower centers, bringing it to our heart and then connecting it to the energy of the universe, pretty powerful. So just take rest now. Sense that flow of energy in you, that kundalini energy. As I've been researching a little bit more about kundalini yoga in this time we're in, I found an article in the Washington Post and it said that kundalini is becoming more popular and it really is out there in many ways. And they say kundalini roughly means energy. And I like that because instead of getting into some major discussion about all these things, we just know that things that are alive have energy. And how do we access our energy to use it most effectively? To have more energy when we need it, to get calmed down when we're nervous. I use breath of fire for both of those things. I'm tired, it gives me a little boost. If I'm feeling a little nervous or agitated or scared, I use it to calm myself down. Please mute yourself for being recorded. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we're going to get ready to do these little stretches at the end before we come up to close with our beautiful long time sun song. So as you lay on your back, just go ahead and inhale and bring your arms up overhead behind you. Hold the breath, stretch. Exhale and relax. Inhale, bring one knee into the chest. And then exhale, bring that leg over across the body in what we call cat stretch. Inhale, bring the knee in and exhale, release it out. And then do the other leg. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, take it over across. Inhale, bring that knee back in. And then exhale, bring both knees in. Bring the soles of your feet together. Bring your palms together. And just rub the soles and the palms together. And then rotate your wrists and ankles. And go the other way. Hugging your knees in if it's comfortable for you and you're on a surface where it's comfortable. Roll forward and back to massage your back and your spine. If that's not comfortable, just roll onto your side or just roll yourself up, whatever feels good. Don't forget to keep breathing. Oh, feel that spine getting a lovely massage. Good. And then come on up and come seated. I'm going to set you up and then I'm going to find the music because I didn't have that set up. So just bring your palms together and stay in that meditative space within yourself for a few moments. And here we go.
everyone. Love to all, light to all, life to all, and peace to all. Sat